All right, hullers. Hello and welcome back to American Truck Simulator. It has been a while since we went for just a simple drive and a chat, so that is what we're going to be doing today. Now, I've been trying to find a mod or trying to find something to mix it up, and I realized while I was doing that that I don't think I've ever actually driven a cab over in American Truck Simulator. I've always ever done lawn nose trucks. I don't think, like literally, I don't think I've ever put my hands on a cab over. So I went out and I grabbed myself the Kenworth K100E by Overfloater. I've heard a lot of good things about this mod. I've never driven it. I've never dealt with it before. I don't think I've really seen much for content on it. I want to say I Clumsy did a video on it, people like that. But and I want to say Jeff Faviano did a video on it with like uh, the the red paint scheme. Trying There's a TV show. I don't remember the name of it. But I decided to go with kind of the classic blue, gold, and black design. This is actually based off a truck I've seen in real life. I think it's really, really pretty. And so that's what we've gone with. I tried to find a trailer to kind of pair this up with and could not find one that I was really happy with. So instead, I am knocking another uh, big first off. And I think this is actually my first time hauling one of these hopper trailers before, or in this game at least. I used to spend a ton of time back in the 18 Wheels of Steel American Lawn Haul days hauling these in areas uh, in the south of the U.S. But I don't think I've done it since they came out on here. And if I have, I think I did it on stream or like in multiplayer. I haven't done it with like a modded truck. But regardless, it gave me an excuse to come out here to Utah and also check some more of that out. So I believe we're in Vernal to the northeast and then we're going to be taking this to Salt Lake. It is limestone. So let's go ahead, let's start this thing up, see how she sounds, and then we'll hit the road. Alright, and we are now in the cab. I went with kind of a classic brown, because I think this would probably be the most realistic one outside of like the tan interior. Definitely old stylings, very, very basic, very, very plain, but very, very cool. The one thing about this truck is I forget the older trucks. You, like, you sit way up high and, like, way forward, especially in a cab over. It's uh, very, very different, I think. Like, for some reason, I find that, like, American slash Australian uh, cab overs, because technically this is also one that I believe is actually really popular in Australia. They feel different when you sit in the cab of them compared to, like, my Scania or something like that. Let's go ahead, let's get this thing going here. I'm gonna take it nice and easy here so that we don't hit anything. Just listen to this thing purr, man. So you can tell I'm a creator because I saw that guy that was kind of standing at the end there and I thought he was holding like a camera. He was getting like a low camera shot. Nah, he's sitting on the stairs. <laughs> kind of funny to me. Alright, we're going to roll her in six here. Take it nice and easy getting out here on the road. This thing sounds great, but as far as I know, the sounds are Creechy Bomb sounds, which, I mean, of course, it's going to sound great if that's the case. I am also going to throw our mirror up on the other side for this trip, just so that we can see a little easier. Take it nice and easy coming out here to the road, and then we'll kick it into high gear once we get on the road. I'm going to go out and around. I'm not going to take that little dirt road that GPS is telling me to. Oh man, I love how this thing sounds though. It definitely drives different to my Pete though. Definitely a big difference. So it's gonna take some getting used to. Man, I love this old style dash too. This thing just looks gorgeous. If you guys wanna see a mod review on this, like I've done with some of the other trucks, like the uh, 
the CHU316 modification and some of the other ones, then definitely let me know. And of course, I'm floating through multiple gears at a time. Oh, ho, 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 listen to that. That is so good. Oh, I just butchered the shifting there. That's okay, though. It's also weird how many roads out here aren't actually marked. Damn, this thing sounds so good. I'm grinning from ear to ear. I love it. I was kind of, I was, this is literally like, this is my first drive. I have not test driven this or anything either. So this is my first time actually hearing it. But I must say, like, I'm impressed. And as far as I know, this dude, like, when he first made it, it was like his first time, I think, making a mod like this. Like, he had, he learned how to use things like Blender with this. And like, Typically, like, I'm self-taught in all the things I do as a designer, as a creator. Everything that I know is something that I've taught myself. I've never really had people around that are able to mentor me or anything like that. And don't, don't get me wrong, obviously, I have friends and stuff in the business that are able to help me out occasionally. Uh, I'm actually even a moderator in a Discord server that is dedicated to just those tasks. But I never really had someone to show me. And Blender is something that I've been wanting to get into, uh, especially for like design purposes, because I want to do things like uh, all of my graphics, all of my branding, I made myself. And I would love to sit down at some point and be able to make myself like a 3D modeled version of my truck and stuff like that. Just want to get going here. But I want to be able to sit down and, like I said, make myself my own 3D model and things. And I downloaded Blender and looked at it. I also wanted to be able to make a mod of my truck, like for the game. I wanted to be able to, to drop that and be able to release that for you guys and, and use it myself for, for particular purposes. But after downloading Blender and stuff and opening it, I gotta say it's pretty terrifying. It, it's, it definitely overwhelms you if you don't know what you're looking at. It's like learning a new language. Uh, but even that, even learning a new language scares me less than Blender does. So man, my hat is off to this dude if that's the case, if he learned Blender while making this. And I gotta say, that means that he went in head first, he really took a plunge, and he did a great job with it. Oh, we're gonna have to sit back here because I'm not gonna be able to see the light. I can't actually see the light. I should have thought about that when I put the, uh, the visor on, but I put this particular visor on because it's the one that's actually on the truck that I like. And the difference is, in real life, you'd be able to duck down. I don't have track IR, so I can't do that in-game, which kind of kills it a little bit for me. Oh, I love this thing, dude. Oh. I, wanna, I get a little too excited there, shifted up too fast, but I was honestly a little concerned jumping into this thing as to whether I would actually enjoy it, because like I said, this is my first time in a cab over in this game. I, I personally, cab overs are something that don't appeal to me like they do others. Uh, some people, like, people I know have fallen in love with some of the older uh, Freightliner cab overs that are kind of... Like, those ones that have, like, the rounded bumpers on the bottom and stuff like that. I think those things are ugly as hell, personally. I'm not even a huge fan of this truck, per se. There are certain, like, custom ones that I like. Like, I would have much preferred to do, like, a stretched frame with the longer wheelbase, like, all that stuff on this truck. But, for me, what really makes or breaks a truck, besides the looks, is the handling. And I gotta say, I really do enjoy driving this thing, like, at least so far. I, I haven't really had a problem with it. And then, obviously, the sounds, the sounds, the feelings, you know... It's so good. And so like I said, if you guys want to see me do a, a much more in-depth mod review, definitely let me know. 
That's part of why I'm driving it now, because I wanted to get a feel for it. Obviously, when I do the mod reviews, normally I do a test drive. But by that point in time, well, some of the last couple, I think, I haven't really done that. Uh, I didn't do any driving um, other than like to get into place, but usually what I'll do is I'll just use console and like teleport myself. But if you guys want to see that, definitely check that out. And I did have someone ask me just a little while ago if I was ever going to do like paid mods in the mod review section. So basically meaning would I ever review a mod that costs money from someone else, like a different mod creator. Will I never do it? I don't want to say that, because obviously if one comes around that I think is a reasonable price that I really enjoy, maybe I will. But for me right now with my mod review stuff, my first priority, or like my main priority, is mods that anyone who plays this game can actually get. Because one, it's easier on me and it's easier on you, and two, it feels more fair to me in some ways. Obviously though, you gotta keep in mind, a paid mod is no different than a paid DLC, in my opinion at least. Uh, except for the fact that the money goes elsewhere. My only factor with that that really concerns me... Whoop. My only factor with something like that that would concern me is if I pay for a mod and then the mod author doesn't keep updating it for the game. That's kind of the biggest issue with mods nowadays for, uh, you know, this type of market because, you know, back then it's you buy a game and it's done. That's it. There's no updates. There's no nothing. And now it's these games are constantly being updated. It's constantly breaking mods. It's constantly changing it. And if I paid for a mod and then it got broken within a couple of weeks, I'd probably be thoroughly pissed. I'd be really, really frustrated with something like that. But I got to say, this is gorgeous, too. Yeah, I gotta say overall, I'm like, I'm enjoying this truck. I'm just enjoying the entirety of this. But yeah, when it comes to, to mods and stuff like that, like, for me, really, I see a paid mod just like a DLC. You're, you're paying for the additional content. It's just a different source. Like, it's not coming from the developer itself. And it comes with those different, you know, elements that you kind of have to worry about, different variables, I guess, if you will. But if you guys have mods or anything you'd love to see me review, by all means, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, let me know what you guys' thoughts are on cab overs. I know personally, like, I don't know a lot about them. I don't really ever deal with them. Uh, you know, my, my extent of knowledge goes... It, it's very, very small. Uh, I did drive them in some of the older games, but not for long. I spent 90% of my time in the, you know, the super large trucks. You know, some of the Kenworths that were... Uh, I want to say there was one that had kind of the extended sleeper on it. Okay. Was the guy in front of me drunk? I don't know what that was about. Oh, I guess maybe he saw the sign and got confused. He's going awfully slow, too. Um, is this cop really going to race us? Come on, man. This dude is struggling on this hill, apparently. I should have gone around him, but I don't think I had enough distance to do so. Alright, we're going to cruise there, so we're not constantly on it, but... I know that these trucks are, or at least as far as I know, these trucks are actually pretty big over in Australia. So if you happen to be an Australian viewer who has some knowledge in this, by all means, let me know kind of how these trucks are used or any little bit of stuff like that. Because I'm always curious, I'm always eager to learn kind of how you guys do things or how everyone else does things compared to us here in the U.S. But also, if you're in the U.S. and you have some kind of knowledge on these, again, I don't know anything. So anything... And I want, I want to say this, too. Uh, don't ever take, like, anything I say is, you know, being 100% like I know what I'm talking about. I hope no one ever does that because that's a horrible idea. I'm going to try and move over here. I want to check the mirror just to be safe. Get off here. This is really, really pretty. I haven't been out in this area either, but, but yeah, don't ever take anything I say as like a hundred percent fact or, or like necessarily me being a hundred percent serious. Sometimes I make a fool of myself. I'm just really good at doing it. I mean, that's kind of why I do YouTube. People seem to get a kick out of it. So there you go. But also on on stream, I actually want to talk about streaming here too as well. A lot of you guys know my opinion on Twitch has always been kind of one of concern and one of criticism 
uh, in terms of Twitch is not known for necessarily being the most stable platforms. Not that YouTube is either, but recently they had, or at least this last year, they had gone through some really significant road, uh, road speed bumps, I guess, road bumps. <laughs> and there it was. That's what I was just talking about, making a fool of myself. Uh, yeah, they went through some pretty big speed bumps. And a lot of you guys, I guess, I did have at least a couple of people who were kind of surprised to see me streaming on there again. But I have been doing that quite a bit. If you've missed that, then definitely go check out uh, Lawn Holler GMG on Twitch. That is me. You can find links in the description, all that fun stuff as always. But yeah, I have been super busy. We've been doing a lot of trucking over there. So if you guys want to kind of chill with me while I'm driving live, is a great place to do it. Every Saturday night, I do a convoy with a bunch of the guys that I've uh, recently met and started to do some stuff with. Some of these guys come from very wide backgrounds. I'm not going to name drop anybody because, as I, I think I've said it in previous videos, I don't want people to come watch me because I'm friends with other people. I would rather people come watch me because it's me. And uh, so I'm not going to name drop anybody, but we got some really, really cool people. And uh, no pressure on me because a couple of these people are pretty high level. People I would consider... Uh, people I look up to, really, very much look up to, and I'm the one that leads the convoy, so I'm actually the one that's responsible, kind of, I organize the convoys, I put together kind of a road plan for, you know, people who drop short or drop later or whatever, like, we always plan out kind of how we're gonna drive and all that stuff, and that way everyone can just kick back, enjoy the ride, have some laughs, share some stories, like, it's always great. So definitely if that's something you're interested in, check that out. That is every Saturday night over at twitch.tv slash lawnhollergmg around 9.45, 10 o'clock at night Eastern. So yeah, like I said, definitely come check that out. Very, very awesome group of people. And I'm very glad to have been introduced to them. I owe Eric a lot of thanks for that because Eric kind of took me under and, and introduced me to some really cool new people that he was friends with. And it's kind of funny, too, I think I've talked about it, where it turns out that, you know, uh, you guys all know Wes, probably. I think I've talked about Wes. Obviously, Wes is the one that kind of started the whole convoy thing. I joined him. And uh, Eric introduced me to Wes, and it turned out that Wes, one of his viewers and one of his, his friends, I guess, is Lovejoy, someone I used to drive with way back when. So it, it's a very small world in the sense that... Uh, Lovejoy and I knew each other for years and years, and Wes and Lovejoy knew each other, but Wes and I never met this whole time, so it was kind of funny, our, our paths collided, and uh, we tur turned out there was a connection there, so definitely very, very cool, and it's uh, it's been awesome, I've reconnected with a couple of the older guys that I used to drive with from Sea Haven, it is really, really cool to see them and do stuff with them again, and uh, I gotta say, a huge shout out, and I thank you to everyone who's been coming out to the streams, who's been supporting me, I mean, we hit affiliate and like within a couple of days after I had my first subscribers like that that blows my mind you know you told me a few years ago that I would even hit affiliate and I would have called you an idiot I would have said I'm either not going to stream on Twitch or that's not going to happen and uh, we did it so I definitely thank you guys a lot I appreciate it and uh, again that's part of why my schedule has been completely messed up uh, I've actually been taking more time to kind of stream it it my passion for streaming really got reignited with everything kind of falling into place. Obviously stuff starts going well, you kind of want to start doing it more, which isn't always the best way of doing things, but it's kind of how it worked for me. I'm going to go ahead and actually... I got to move over, I think. Can I move over, sir? Oh, it's actually a light. Yeah, I got to move over now, dude. You want to let me in here? Come on, people. All right, we're going to force our way in. Uh, nope. I thought that was a, uh, oh, come on. I thought that was a, uh, nope, that is where I need to go. Okay, this is going to be awkward. I have to pull a Jeff Faviano. That's the first time I think I've screwed something up that poorly and had to uh, go through. Also, that's not a shot at Jeff. I love Jeff. It's just, he always tends to have so much more trouble while he's driving. <laughs> I feel so bad for him sometimes, because he'll hit the road and he'll just have one issue after another with the AI. They always seem to creep up on him and basically swarm him. 
pretty fun episode. But I just want to make that clear. It's like, I'm not trying to pop a shout off at Jeff. No, I love Jeff and uh, I love his videos. And uh, yeah, he's actually a big reason why I'm doing this now. But overall, it's been really awesome lately between the streams and all that. It's really cool. Like, just so many laughs, so much fun. It's just, it's been great. And uh, obviously, there's ups, there's downs to it. And uh, I feel kind of like I fell into a bit of a down. Uh, the last couple of, of days have been very much trying to piece together a way to kind of make this sustainable because, you know, I, I, I've been really struggling with just being tired constantly, like not being able to kind of catch up on anything I'm supposed to be doing or I need to do to kind of make sure that the YouTube side of things or the Twitch side of things can, can continue to thrive. I think I'm supposed to go here. No, I'm not. I have to follow underneath. I almost screwed up again. That would not have been something I could have fixed very easily. Jesus. Oh, posted truck got pulled over. Big oof. But yeah, it's definitely, definitely been interesting lately. And uh, so I'm trying to make it work. Bear with me, guys, for the next little bit. Dude, I got, I gotta come over. I need you to not right now. Can you? Okay. Fuck you, dude. Oh, no. All right, well. So much for getting off there. So I guess we're going out and around. Damn. Well, that didn't add very, very much longer to... Wow, that was English. and didn't add a lot more to our trip. I guess we just gotta go up here. We're probably gonna get off, get right back on the highway. Come on, people. This is this truck hauling cable and stuff on it? But it looks like this video is probably gonna run over the half hour mark I kinda try to stick to, but we don't have very long left anyways, so we'll just bear with it. I do have to come over here. Can I move over? Yeah. Oh. Keep thinking I hear people. Oh, actually, you know, the, the fact that I'm looking out the side right now reminds me. I am very excited for the update with the windows and stuff coming out. Like, you know, me, Jake, breaking in this truck. Imagine if I could roll the window down in this thing and hear it. However, I hope that there's more to come than just that down the road. I think they probably waited to add that in until they had the better sound engine. But it I, I there was also, I think there's also like a garage. Like, you can actually walk around in the garage now, too, which is very very interesting very very cool if you ask me so much cool stuff coming i'm just like we're just in this weird phase like it's i just need summer to get here i'm waiting on summer for far too long i just need it to arrive and uh give me an opportunity to kind of chill with friends in real life and do some more stuff i will say that's kind of my biggest thing this summer is i really don't want to be stuck inside you know though i haven't haven't even gone out and really done much during the summertime for a long while now. I'm gonna have to go into outside view for this, I think. Alright, we got the green. I cut that a little bit, but that's okay. Can we make this? Well, hopefully we're not going to run the red. I can't actually see if it's going to be red. But we'll go ahead and get on here. I've actually been through here before. I know that for sure. We actually drove through here on a convoy. But yeah, we got to head back to Salt Lake, so we got to get back on the highway. If I come back through the other direction and there's another detour, I'm giving up. <laughs> That'd be great, but... But yeah, what are you guys' plans for the summer? Like, what are you guys planning on doing... Any cool trips, events, stuff like that. Obviously, events are kind of uh, put to the wayside, I would hope, for a lot of people. I'm not going to talk much about, you know, the the whole sickness going around. i got to be careful what I say, because I don't want to get, like, YouTube. I don't want YouTube to kill my video for no reason. It's sad that I have to worry about that. It really is. It's 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 no longer broadcast yourself. It's, it's or whatever it was, it's broadcast yourself. But, but, but make sure you don't say anything that anyone normal would consider okay but that brands apparently get concerned about which I don't really understand but I guess it's is what it is so yeah do be careful out there 
I had a friend send me a picture of someone with a bucket on their head, which I thought was hilarious. You gotta, yeah, that's a special kind of, that's like, if I've ever seen an image that, like, should have the caption natural selection at work, like, that is it right there. Putting a bucket over your head to protect yourself. I mean, I guess technically, in theory, it does protect you from some things, but <laughs> it doesn't protect you from everything. The only thing it'll protect you from is, like, projectiles. <laughs> oh, that's gross. Yeah, I, I, that's hilarious, too. But yeah, there's there's so much going on right now. Between that, like, the media's blowing up about that. Just, ugh, I'm just done with it. I don't know if I have to move over here. I don't think so. I think we're good. I gotta say, I'm, I'm, I love this truck. I might have to do another drive in this thing. I might have to pull this out on stream. We might have to do that. But basically right now my stream schedule is Saturdays, the convoy, on Sunday, kind of in the afternoon time. I always stream earlier on Sunday because obviously everyone has to be up for work on Monday. And I don't want people to be up late because that seems to be an issue. But yeah, I don't want to keep people up and uh, keep them from sleeping. So I stream typically in the afternoon on Sunday. Sunday's kind of my day. I kind of just pick whatever, do whatever. Uh, for me, my my schedule is like my week starts on Saturday and ends on Friday kind of a thing which is weird to a lot of people but that's how I kind of do it but Tuesday every Tuesday at least right now I don't know because they're currently changing some of that up we do Dungeons and Dragons which if you're interested in that definitely come check that out however be aware that this will be like this week will only be my second time or depending on obviously when this video comes out because I am pre-recording this to try and get around the fact that I've not been able to post as frequently. But uh, it is only my second time playing D&D, the first time being just a few days ago. So obviously bear with me on that, Oop. because I am still learning. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I do also, like my character is kind of the quiet guy, so there's not a lot of talking for me right now until we get into some more stuff. My character kind of has a heavy storyline behind him and, and his backstory and stuff. Just want to get one last little listen to this truck because it is awesome. Yeah, I'm so thoroughly happy. We'll see if this goes over the half hour mark. I'm going to try and, and cut it down to a point where it doesn't. If you guys don't care and you guys would rather see the longer videos, I know like Jeff, he posts like 45 minutes to 55 minutes long. But I find that a lot harder to watch, kind of all at once. I usually have to split that up over a couple of viewings, depending on the day and kind of what I'm doing. Ooh, that's not a good sound. Okay. Let's not do that one again. What am I doing? My brain just turned off. Have you, do you guys want to see what it looks like when someone's brain literally just goes, Nope. Time to reboot. That's it right there. I thought this was my turn. Well, I never thought an invisible barrier would save me. Oh, come on. Yeah, y you look the other way, Land Rover. Oh, this is awkward. Don't mind me, folks. Alright. Let's the cool. Uh, copyright strike. Yep, so that right there is exactly what it looks like when someone's brain just turns off. Of course it's me. My brain tends to turn off more than the average bear, but is what it is. And there we go. We are on our way to drop this thing off. So we'll see about if we have to back this thing in, because I don't know if we will. Can't really see it from here. It looks like we will. Come on, open the thing up. I'm impatient. I don't have to go through the thing. I've actually dropped off here before, so. Uh, wait a minute. It looks like we're dropping off here. Yep. Okay. So we're going to be going out. We'll drop this thing off real quick. I'll keep this in the video just for those of you guys that like to see me back something up since apparently my, my whoop. Yep. See right there. I was going to say my brain's not functioning, but I couldn't even get the sentence out because guess what? My brain's not functioning. I can't see... Okay, that's fine. 
I'm trying to use the, the cone, the reference point on the cone, but I couldn't see the cone at first. I couldn't tell which side of the cones it was, because I can't see in the right mirror the cones. I can't see the rear cones either, which is not really helping. Nope, we're good. Perfect, just like that. I think part of it too is I had my camera turned so I could look out the mirror. I'm not used to doing that. I'm used to being able to see straight so I couldn't tell where my uh, center line was. But there we go. Let's go ahead and let's drop this thing. All right, so we have gone ahead and dropped the trailer. Honestly, I love this truck. I might on it. I, I'm gonna have to do some more driving in this thing because this is like the most excited I've been for trying something new in a long time. I'm really happy I decided to step up and and try a cab over because I gotta say I'm thoroughly enjoying it I think for me what really sets it apart is the sounds at least that's probably number one number two the feel it just feels good which is weird because like at least on the US side of things I'm not really a cab over guy I am very much a lawn nose like you know that that kind of style guy please turn green please turn green please turn green please turn green all right California roll time drag this thing out boom all right it is so cool driving this thing without a trailer however the one thing is I would imagine this can drift pretty well especially in American truck sim scene it's probably super front heavy but before I go any further I quickly want to give a massive shout out and I thank you to my patreon supporters or in this case supporter WX squint definitely means a lot and if you're considering supporting me further you can definitely check that in the description below there's a link there you can also find links to my Discord if you'd like to join, hang out with the crew, and me on social media. Or you can search me up at LawnHollerGMG on Snapchat, Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.